Hello. Okay, as you can see, something a little different today. Um, there's a couple of reasons I'm playing this. Uh, one, because I can maybe do a few slightly shorter sessions. I got a busy couple of weeks coming up, so I wanted to have something prepared, and uh, both Necromunda and Blood Bowl tend to lend themselves to like hour to hour and a half games. Um, Secondly, I've been wanting to kind of play a campaign again in this. Uh, I've played a few. I've played Dark Elves pretty extensively, Lizardmen extensively. I did do Empire a while back. Uh, who else have I done? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, Lizards. Lizards was huge. Um, I did do an Orc one pretty heavily. And I started a Bretonian one. Oh, I did, a, I did all the way through a Forest one as well. A Wood Elves one. Uh, anyway. This time, we're going to try something that I have never played before, either in single player or the few dips I've done into multiplayer. We're going to do a Mortal Empires campaign uh, with Vampire Coast. And I have no idea about this character. Like, these guys, you see all of them in multiplayer quite a bit, so I kind of know a little bit what they do. Not that I know their campaigns. But Aranessa, no idea. Looks like we're starting... Uh, down underneath Tilia and Astalia. So that's going to be, I think we've got orcs over here. Uh, and we've got kind of, uh, what do you call them, like mercenary armies just above us. Um, Hiles here, that's quite a ways away. So we're probably going to be pushing up into here, I imagine. Uh, a couple of last things before we actually dip into the campaign itself. Um, we're doing a campaign on hard. Uh, just to push myself a little bit uh, on that respect, but I'm doing the battles on normal. Now, I watched a video recently from Zerkovic, who extensively kind of covers all the little, like, technical stuff of the game, uh, who suggested it's not necessarily worth putting the battle difficulty up, because all you're doing is re boosting the stats, so you kind of get an uneven knowledge of what's going on. But what I am going to try and do is I'm going to try and play through with no pausing and no slow-mowing. So we're going to just take <laughs> take the beatings when they come to us uh, and use it as a way to maybe get a little better at battle mode because I'm if you've ever seen any of my attempts at multiplayer before, it's horrific. Uh, I turned Chaos Invasion off, though, just for the break from that. Uh, so just before we dip in, let's see what she actually gets here. Um, she starts off with Free Company, who look like they might be alive. Uh, we do get some deck gunners, that could be nice. And we get some rotting Prometheans, which are probably going to be mean. Uh, faction wise, Norska hate us. Uh, raiding income is nice. And sacking is nice, although. Yeah, I can't remember if we're going to want to do that. Uh, okay, and then bonuses for Sartosan specific units. So I guess like these guys would count, but these guys wouldn't. Uh, race wise we can take extra powder we're, we're kind of like a, em a dead empire uh, if you haven't really seen these guys before uh, and destroying sacking and raiding building up a reputation at sea whilst keeping ambitious commanders loyal and trustworthy by imparting riches and wealth to them gain infamy and leech wealth from unsuspecting settlement owners where the hideouts have been formed okay I think we're just gonna go ahead and dive in and see how it goes I'm gonna try not to play this too slow um, you know, that probably means we're going to make some mistakes, um, but we'll see how it goes. Daughter of Manan, one of the greatest pirate lords to ever stalk the oceans. So it looks like she just wants to go, uh, go do some pirate stuff. I don't know how steeped in, um, Warhammer lore she is. I don't recognize her, but this whole like Vampire Coast is kind of new to my um, knowledge in terms of uh, I'm sure they were somewhat kind of in the lore but um, I was very much an old world kind of player and these guys kind of skirt around the edge of that and I think they're always kind of like uh, one of those rumored kind of things that they never delved into so I know a lot of the lore of uh, you know the Empire and even over into Nagroth. But, uh, yeah, this is all kind of a little different for me. <clears throat> B 
but yeah, it's just a, a little change up. We'll see how we do. I'm not saying I'm going to fight every single battle as well. We will auto resolve at points because we're trying to Agnes do okay. Salt daughter of Manan and irascible captain of the Swordfish. Your very name strikes fear into the soft hearts of the men in the southern realms. Neighboring Talia is a source of great wealth and resources. Seizing or raiding these settlements will strengthen your fleet for greater voyages. Other more verminous beings lurk here too. Skaven corruption spreads like a case of scurvy. Although it's an affliction even the dead can succumb to, if left to fester. To the west, beast men gather in the forests and woods, looking to strike out at the men of Estalia. While across the sea are the lands of former opulence, which now lie in ruins deep beneath the sands. And yet, the tomb robbers haven't stolen everything. There are still plenty of treasures left to plunder. But it is the sea, not the sand that calls. The sea father would have you sit upon a throne of coral and rule the world, and so sends undead allies to aid your cause. You are the queen of the tides. All shall bow to your piratical majesty. All right. Nifty. <clears throat> so let's see. Your Lord operates as a mobile fighter king construction platform, independent from normal empire building. And able to recruit or construct from their flagship at sea or on land without the need of a settlement. Interesting. I uh, must first acquire infamy. So I guess infamy is big for us. Defeating armies, capturing settlements, and establishing pirate coves will increase your infamy levels. In doing so, your ranking on the list of infamous pirates will improve, rising towards the top and drawing the attention of legendary pirates in possession of the powerful Verses of the Lost Sea Shanty. Okay. And pirate coves can provide steady income and other benefits from settlements owned by other factions. These coves can be secretly developed at any port settlement leeching from the current occupants, though they will be blissfully aware of your activities. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> I'm not sure I understand all of that yet. Uh, this is pretty standard uh, initial objective. Alright, so let's see what we've got going on here. Let's have a look at Saitosa. So this is ready to expand straight off. Now this build, nicely, this can go up to level 5, so this is actually worth developing. What do we get here? Deckhands, scurvy dogs, and uh, deck hands with pole arms. I think we've got to start building that. A lot of this we're just going to kind of discover as we go through. I'm assuming we want to do this because anytime you get landmarks, you generally want to kind of build them because they have like uh, specific boons. So this looks like uh, good trading stuff. Let's do it. Uh, we also have uh, this, which we can't do yet. Uh, because we don't have any money. Alright, so... Can we start getting some money? Oh, that's it. Hang on, no. This is the one that... Oh, we can't build any of this either. Uh, let's see. So we probably increase the change from the cost band for treasure, right? Income generated 50. That's not a ton of income. So we need to start trading, is what I'm gathering here. Well, we'll just accept what we've got so far. That will let us get access to Vampire Fleet Captains. Okay, that's quite nice. We're going to want to upgrade that. But for now, we can't build anything else. Uh, looks like Lucini could be early on in our... ...plans. 
Okay, and here's our initial army. Now we can attack straight away. Let's have a quick look at Lucini. Yeah, they don't have a lot going on. The question is... Gunnery what are you? White. You're a gunnery white. I just always want to put these guys straight into my army. I think we move up and see what's going on. What could we do to this place? We could steal technology. Uh, we don't want to spend money right now. So we're just checking to see if we come across anybody who may cause us any issues with this plan. Sleep is for the living. Setting out. Okay, closest is these guys. Yeah, I think the obvious move, and I think what we're being encouraged to do, is attack Wichini. Uh, technology. Okay, let's get one of these going. Leadership. I do like some casualty replenishment. <coughs> Immune to all storm and reef attrition. Uh, let's do that. We're a water faction. That feels feels sensible, and it's taking six turns, so you've got to feel like that's kind of an important one. So we'll get that going. Um, can't add anybody into any of this. Just having a quick look. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Scales and but you know what? We just want to do this, don't we? Make them fish food. Are you telling want me to I slit throat? Bloody your cutlasses! Okay, there we go. The tides rise to battle. So it's kind of traditional to. The sea uh, father calls. Go ahead and fight a battle just to get used to the art. I, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's traditional for me anyway. We get to look at what we have. Yeah, <clears throat> as much as I've played this game, there's a lot going on in it, so I feel like I'm by no means a, an expert at it. I've just played it a lot, and I really love it. All right. Free company. Standing by. Let's get these guys together. Free company. I think what we're going to do. Oh, that's in Vanguard. Nifty. We're not going to do that, but. <clears throat> and we're going to pop our our shooters in front of them for the moment. And if we get in trouble, we'll just drop back behind them. Oh, interesting. Bombers. What's the range on them? 55 versus 245. So these are very close range guys. So we'll just have these ready to drop some bombs when they get close. And then we have Aranessa herself. Who, um, I think shoots. Oh, she's a fighter. <coughs> Maybe she can get... We'll find out as we go on. So we have Spearfish's net. Minus 24 melee defense. Cannot move. Nasty. Menon's luck. Plus 22 damage. And plus 24 melee. Okay. Let's get this thing going. Free company! So we want to position on a hill in a way that... I should have them. Go! Away 
Changing orders! Detachments, hold! And we're just... Oh, we're already in range. I did not need to move forwards. So yeah, we're just trying to pepper this unit up. Show us the foe! run these guys over here see if we can divert them free company send her in here you get out might be able to break these guys off just with what we're doing here Fire into those guys. Take them off, Skirmo. Okay, so we're fighting here now. Probably should have tried to charge him there. So we're trying to run the dogs through so we can kind of get a rear charge here. Don't think it's going to matter too much. Alright. Easy peasy. I mean, usually they make one that's not too bad for you. <coughs> But yeah, apparently our handgunners can shoot from like a million miles away, so that's good. You can now, I don't know if you can do it in the campaign or if it's just in multiplayer. Look at the values that you, you know, the, the amount of damage you did. There you go. Damage dealt a thousand. Damage dealt three thousand. Wow. These guys went nuts. <coughs> okay, I assume ga she's getting a gambler's armor. We gained a rank. All in all, pretty happy with that. Yeah, these guys actually didn't do a ton of damage, but I guess they butted them up. And I don't know if you can see it, but we've got an achievement of Scourge of the Seven Seas. That probably just means win a battle with uh, our Vampire Coast. Sack it. So, hmm. Grab the plunder and go. I guess for now. Oh, I we can establish a pirate crew. Let's see. Sure, we've done them a lot of damage. Let's get some money and I claim uh, it yeah. for the sea father. We'll see how this goes. So that's boosted our infamy. We're right at the bottom of the pile. Uh, so the gamble's armor, very tasty. Established a pirate cove. We'll see if that's any use. All right, mission issued. Find a hidden treasure by solving the treasure map's riddle using dig for treasure with your army or hero. Oh boy, we've unlocked two more achievements. Know my name and leech. Do not look upon sorrowful gods, for where Isha's tears fall and swell, the secret you seek shall reside. A great hoard of treasure may be received. 
So let's have a look at that treasure map again. Okay, so that's a ways away. So north of the Pirate's Isle, I guess that's us, lies a bejewel city whose one has the power to enchant and beguile. That looks like it's very close, right? Is it... Is it talking about here? There'll be double rations on the ship this night. So we have raised dead. Uh, we do have to pay for that. We can get gunnery mobs, deckhand mobs, and pirate gunnery mobs. Handguns, or not handguns. I guess you get the bigger range with the handguns, but these guys can fire whilst moving, which is quite tasty. Okay. No need to do it now, our income's looking pretty good. Fear the pirate queen. Okay, so and we gotta get pieces of eight to get those. Okay. I think we know where we're at now. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to play, but I always get root marsh at first because having extra movement always just seems too useful. Um, commandment available. In Sartosa, because this is the one. Okay, yeah, sure. So, uh, let's see. Recruitment capacity is nice. Siege holdout time plus three. Ammunition plus 25. Local armies. Public order is fine for right now. I think we want to increase growth. Hmm. Don't need that. None of them are crazy good. I guess we'll just go for growth. Oh, and I guess by winning that we can now actually afford some stuff. Do we go for this? Uh, let's see, recruitment cost minus 10, construction cost minus 10 for all building. Sure. We may regret that because it's going to be a while before we can uh, level up, but you know. Let's see if anybody likes us. Might be able to forge calls? something with these guys. You come bearing arms. Is it war? Nope. Very well. Okay. That's a good start. Because <clears throat> we're about to get some bonuses to trade, so... Uh, Stalia, we're not technically at war yet. I feel like these guys the all kind of secretly hate over. each other anyway. Make your demands. Fine. Nice. Uh, I should just do this. Okay, that's everybody we can... It's a good start. And that's all we can do. Turn one... In the books. Skaven doing Skaven things. Okay, what are you gonna do? You coming after me? So for now we're just gonna concentrate on hitting Tilia because um, they seem like the... we're already kind of uh, at war with them, so... Problem is, Mirigliano is going to be a lot more... Ooh, I can build stuff in my pirate cove, apparently. That's good to know. Very snazzy. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Mergliano has quite a... 
defense force and walls. The question is, is anybody else going to come after us? And the answer is, I have no idea. Sardasa's most infamous. I refuse. I bet you do. Gunner, you hide. So, what can we do to this guy if we want to? We could try and wound him. That is not great odds. What could I do to their city? I could steal their technology again. Uh, what is my natural thing? I feel like I should just have him in the army. Why are we so slow? Should we dig for treasure? Because I'm wondering if this is the city it's talking about. It really looks like it would be. I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, it just... okay. So I guess we could... We could try digging while we're here. Aha! Um, okay. Great Hall of Treasure may be received. We successfully did the mission. Okay. That's pretty nice. Uh, we got another achievement. X marks the spot. And we unlocked a right. Um,. Only a miserly hoard of treasure will be <laughs> received, okay. So we'll see where that is. So we've got one over here. Okay, it's gonna be a while. Uh, but that does I give us more money. I feel like we might just wanna we can't do anything this time, right? Because we did that. No. We might just go up and start raiding up here. Shots. Swords. Let's go keep an eye on them, eh? Exploring is never a bad idea. Well, that's probably not true. Problem is, every every time we do this, they build up a little bit. Okay, ship upgrade available. This is something we should think about. Oh boy, there's so many options. Do like the recruitment options, <coughs> but I feel like um, strengthening the ship makes more sense. I think we'll leave it for now. Oh no, we'll actually just do the. We'll do this one because this is an overall thing, so it makes sense to do that one. We won't do this one. Turn two in the books. I mean, there's a fair chance that we'll just straight up you know, kind of lose the campaign quickly, but uh, it's a danger of playing with no uh, idea what you're doing with a faction you don't know on hard mode. Just get my excuses ready for when I make a horrible mistake and lose my capital. <coughs> Alright, so we're in encamp mode. You might okay, right. that's why. Now how... Okay, raid is going to take a while. Can we get up into Mugliano? Yeah, we can. So let's do that. Come see brigands!
And let's, uh, do we have any stances left? We have in camp. We're not digging. Oh, I guess I could have moved and then dug. Okay, that would have been nice. Well, no, it wouldn't have mattered. Because I didn't want to move. Let's kind of get up in his... In his More grill. moving, less moaning! More bodies washed up. Now is there a chance they're going to jump Not out after likely. us? Maybe. Doomed to serve. I am going to pop him in the army now. Because it will help with training and... Master. Just in case we get attacked. Scales and salt. Uh, do we want to raise some dead? So let's see. If we recruit... <coughs> Sorry. Um, these guys killed themselves. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm willing to recruit. Do we try and do something here? Uh, what could we open up here? We could open up bats. We would need more growth to hit these. What's her growth? Two. It's really hard to know what to do when you don't know what to do. That's what happens when you say you're going to try and play quick. Uh, let's see. Campaign movement plus 10. That's nice. Upkeep minus 5 for all units. That's quite nice. Catch your replenishment is nice. Okay, let's go for the... I do... I always like a bit of campaign range movement. We're going to do that. Apparently we can build something else now. But everything costs uh, growth points, which is interesting. Uh, so I think we're going to call it there. Rattling through these turns. Just waiting for somebody to come in. The good thing is the uh, those crazy pirate, like the uh, black and blue pirates out at sea, don't come and attack you on land, they just kind of attack you if you're in the sea. <coughs> Those guys. So we built our Peg Street pawn shop, which is nice. And uh, our Top Gallant Royal. So technically I could attack from here. I will not obey. But they have a sizable army this. and a very sizable garrison. Ready to swordfish. Can you ambush? You can. What's our ambush looking like? 45. 45. Not good. So I think we're just going to raid for the moment. See if we can draw them out through raiding. Probably not. What stairs is ours? Uh, and that being the case, I don't know if there's not much more that we can do. I guess we can move and raid. I've got your bearing. Uh, that's really all we've got. How are we doing for time? 
pretty good. Let's do one more. <clears throat> one more turn for this session. Famous last words. guy try and do something for us I think he's I think right now he's helping to increase public order for them <clears throat> okay no events fair enough these guys are just That's making a really big not. army this would break my vows If we should just try and ambush just to see. A done deal. I don't know if this guy might just make it not work just by his sheer presence. Come, crew, move. They'll take the bait. Just trying to stay out of range so he doesn't get reinforcements. Uh, money's coming in nice. We could technically uh, build something in Lucini. Okay, that's quite nice. Can we gain 10 per turn? Local settlements income plus 50%. Smuggler's Cove. Infamy 10 per turn income generated 200. Ooh, hello. We will take that. M money is money is nice. Okay, everybody. I think we're going to call that our first session. Uh, I know these are a little shorter, but that was kind of the idea. Um just so we can get through a few more of them. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, obviously, you know, Endeavor games are still my focus, uh, but I do love this game, so I may as well play it a little bit for, uh, for YouTube. And uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, hopefully, hopefully decent ways, but <laughs> we may be, uh, may be killed horribly. Only time can tell. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.